and alias breaks a loop by using the same table twice in the same query. The alias is identical to the base table, but with a different name. Alias tables can be inserted manually, or by using an automated detection tool. In this tutorial, you will resolve a loop in a data foundation by manually inserting an alias table. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, version 14.0.0, v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. After inserting the tables and joins in a data foundation, check for unresolved loops in the schema. In this data foundation, it appears that there is a loop between the country and customer tables. A loop is a join path issue that arises from the way that tables are related in a relational database. Loops can produce instances where a query returns too few rows of data, and therefore need to be resolved. Click Aliases and Contexts. Check for loops in the schema. Click Visualize Loops. The Information Design tool has detected one loop. Check the loop status. Click Refresh Loop Resolution Status. The Country table is used as a shared lookup table for both region and resort tables, creating a loop in the schema. You can resolve the loop by inserting an alias for the country table. There are two ways to insert aliases, manually, or by using the automated detection tool. In this tutorial, insert alias tables manually. Right-click the country table. Click Insert. Select Alias Table. Give a meaningful name to the new alias. Double-click Alias of Country. Type Resort Country, and then click OK. The new Resort Country Alias Table is inserted in the Data Foundation. Note that the original table name shows up in brackets in the Alias Table header. Rearrange the tables in the schema to better incorporate the new Alias Table. Click to drag and drop the Resort Country Alias Table to a better location. Modify the join between the original Country Table and the Resort Table. Ensure that the new Alias Table is joined to the Resort Table instead. Double-click the join. Change to the new Resort Country Alias Table. Click the Table 1 list. Select the Resort Country Alias Table. Click OK. The new alias is displayed in the Aliases and Contexts pane, and the Loops pane indicates that the customer loop has been resolved. Click Save. When you create an alias table, check that any existing objects that are defined from the original table still refer to the correct table. They may need to be defined from the alias table to infer the correct SQL, and get the correct result. Navigate to the Business layer. Click Show Hide Local Projects. Double-click the Club BLX Business Layer. The Information Design tool allows you to easily determine all existing objects that point to a single table in the structure of the universe. Show the associated objects for the Country Table. Right-click the Country Table. Select Show Associated Objects. The Country object in the Resort folder points to the original Country Table. This would cause SQL issues when users try to run the country object in a query. Modify the country object and point it to the new alias table. Double-click the country dimension. Click SQL Assistant. Press Delete. Click Plus to expand the resort country alias table. Double-click the country column. Click OK. The country object in the resort folder now points to the new resort country alias table. Click Save. You have successfully resolved a loop in a data foundation by manually inserting an alias table. This is the end of the tutorial.